15 years ago, I made a New Year's resolution to lose weight. So I set my alarm for 30 minutes earlier for the next day, and I got up and I walked about a mile or so every single day for months. I had totally assumed that because exercise hadn't really been on my agenda for a while, that the weight, because I started working out, would just fall off. Wrong, it did not fall off at all. And after making what feels like every weight loss mistake in the book, I finally figured out exactly what worked. Hey Killer Bees, I'm Paula B, your best middle-aged fitness friend, and around here we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by getting to a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. I remember seven months into that resolution where I hadn't lost any weight at all, and in fact, I was gaining, where I went out to a girls' lunch with a couple of friends of mine, and I was wearing my favorite, most comfortable pair of jeans that were not comfortable at all anymore. In fact, they were so tight that I actually had to pop the button midway through the meal because I couldn't sit there any longer. That was the moment where I vowed that I was gonna lose weight for good. I came home that day and announced to my husband that changes were happening and I was gonna lose weight. And then I went out to the grocery store and I bought a famous brand of meal replacement shakes. Let me be super, super clear. I do not in any way endorse meal replacements as like the way to lose weight. But this story tells you a couple of things about losing weight that I have learned that you might be missing that are actually really important and can help you get started losing weight. Key component number one is that maybe you're not 100% committed. You definitely want to lose weight and you're probably even doing the things that feel weight lossy, that feel maybe a little bit easy for you to get started. I mean, that's what I did. Again, I was young, this was 15 years ago, so I had plenty of energy to start exercising. And that was something that I felt pretty comfortable and confident with. But as far as like counting calories or watching what I ate, I knew on some level that that was probably important, but I wasn't really committed enough to losing weight to look into it, to figure out how, or to even really get started with it. But exercise alone does almost nothing for weight loss. Exercise is fabulous for your health. It's good for your heart, your lungs, your bones, your muscles, your mental and physical health. It's fantastic for you, but it doesn't move the scale. In order to lose weight, there are actually five things that you need to be doing every single day. Exercising regularly is one of them, but eating the right number of calories consistently every single day. Drinking the right amount of water every single day consistently. Getting enough sleep every single day consistently. And managing your mindset. Doing any one or maybe two or even three of those things is really good for you and good for your health, but when you're 100% committed, you will actually do all five things every day, really regularly, really consistently. Don't think that being 100% committed is the same thing as being 100% successful, because here's the thing, you're probably still gonna struggle with getting it all just right, being 100% consistent, doing all the things, but you will be committed to trying. You will be committed to figuring it out. You know that there are five things to do and you're doing your best every day to do all five. Honestly, I struggled really hard with the calories and to a certain extent even the water for a long time. But when I became 100% committed, I knew that I was gonna do whatever it took to just stick with it and do my best and keep trying every single day. Key component number two is that you're starting where you think you should be rather than where you are. Now, here's the thing. I actually got really lucky on this part because it was so long ago. I mean, truly, Facebook didn't really exist the way it does now. Pinterest didn't exist at all. YouTube was around but didn't have the same sort of information on it that you can get now. I did not on any given day have like photographs and video evidence of some fitness guru's perfect breakfast plan. I didn't have access except my DVD player to some crazy over the top workouts. I just went to the grocery store and I bought basically a milkshake and a flavor that sounded good and I went for a walk every day. That was it. Now, quick note to the aside, I was already a champion sleeper. That has never been a problem for me. And I was, I was not great on the water, but I was pretty good on the water. And as far as managing my mindset, I actually didn't have trouble with that 
until I finished losing the weight, which is a whole nother story and a whole nother video for another day. If I had tried to overhaul everything that I was eating, everything that I was doing, everything in my life, I guarantee I would still be trying to lose that 30 pounds today. There was no way in the world that my eating habits could have changed from what they used to be to what they are now overnight. It took me years to get where I wanted to go with my fitness, with my food, with even my mindset, it takes time to get to the finish line. And the only way to get to the finish line is to start where you are. Over the years, I've made tons of changes to the way that I eat in terms of like adding fruits and vegetables, cooking more at home, watching my portion sizes, knowing what feels good and what doesn't feel good for me anymore, and to my fitness. I mean, I still love to walk, but I've added all kinds of other great exercises to my normal routine now. I thankfully gave myself the grace to just be where I was as long as it took to figure things out. Here we come back to that commitment thing again. And I stuck with it even when it was tough. My friends, you do not need to wait until you are popping buttons on your jeans to get started the right way. Watch this video right here to learn everything you need to know about losing weight at 50 and beyond so that you can get 100% committed and start where you are.